Welcome back to another Sunday prep day. If you're new here, every Sunday I prepare my veggies for the week and I make some other things ahead of time. Like today I'm going to do some pulled pork and I'm going to make some tomato soup. So let's get started. Uh, we'll start with just some uh, cucumber for a salad. So my menu uh, for lunch, I'm going to have some sandwiches. It's uh, obviously Sunday today. I usually have sandwiches on the weekend because I am diabetic and to cut down carbs during the week I only have carbs with dinner. I skip my carbs for uh, for lunch. So on the weekend I like to uh, have some bread. Those are my cheat days. And then tonight I think I'm going to do some uh, takeout. I'm uh, feeling like some Chinese food. I haven't done takeout in a while. so. Let's get this in a container. And then uh, tomorrow for lunch, I'm going to do some um, salad. That's what the cucumber's for. And that's just going to be some um, spring mix and some cucumber and some uh, pepper and some pomegranate. And then for dinner, I'm going to do some tomato soup. Because uh, I do meatless Monday on Monday. So that's why I'm doing salad and soup. Um, so yeah. The carrot is going to go in the soup. And I'm also going to use some... Um, I'm going to use some for. Oh, well, that's it actually. Because I only have a few carrots, so I'm just using those up. And then I have some celery that is partly going to be for the soup but also for some uh, orzato later in the week. Orzato is like um, risotto, but it's with the uh, pearl barley instead of the rice. So I'm just gonna cut this nice and fine. Just using a lot of leftovers this week. Let's see. Let's do some uh, leeks. I just have some uh, ends left over that it needs to be used up. So soup is a good way to do that. Do some onion. This is going to be for the pulled pork. That's why I'm using a yellow onion. I'm just cutting that into little half rings. And then we also have some red onion. I'm going to dice that because that is going to be for the risotto and for uh, 
pomegranate salsa. And for a little bit of slaw. I think that's going to be... Oh yeah, let's continue our menu. So on Tuesday for lunch, I have some pork skewers with some slaw. Or maybe I'll do that later in the week and have some green beans. I'm going to... How I plan, sometimes the day I'm having something might change, but it's still going to be in the same week. So, green beans or slaw, and then on Thursday, I'm going to have the other thing that I was going to have. So, one day green beans, one day slaw. And then for, on Tuesday for dinner, I'll do some pulled pork tacos. And Wednesday, I'm going to make some low-carb rolls, some keto rolls, for some uh, pulled pork sandwiches. And then for dinner, I'm going to make some uh, ravioli from scratch. With like a spinach cream sauce. And I think I'm going to make a video about the ravioli. If I can figure out the angles and that kind of stuff. And then, uh, so on Thursday, I'm going to have either green beans or slaw, depending on what I have on Tuesday. And then for dinner, I'm going to do the orzato with uh, some pork skewers. And then Friday for lunch, I don't know yet because I don't usually plan my lunches for Friday. Depends on what I have left over. And then for dinner, I'm going to do some fish tacos with a pomegranate salsa. Right now I'm cutting up some shallots nice and fine because that's going to go in the ravioli with some uh, ground chicken and some cheese so I'm just gonna cut that nice and fine have some garlic that's gonna go in the tomato soup and I'll use that for the orzato and I'll throw some in with the pulled pork too I think If there's anything, by the way, that you'd like to see me make, please leave a comment, because I'm always looking for inspiration. And if there's anything particularly you want to see, and it's something I would like to eat, I'll most definitely try that. So there we have our garlic. Let's do some chili. We're going to do that in the salsa. Maybe when I have my green beans, I'll put some chili in there as well. I like chili. I like spice. I'm not going to bother de-seeding them. Pepper, 
half of that I'm just going to cut into strips to, or half rings to go on my salad and the other half I'm going to cut finer to put in the salsa. Just gonna take a few leaves off for my slaw. The rest I'm just gonna leave on the stem because it will last a lot longer in the fridge that way. like a nice portion for some slaw. And then uh, let's do some pomegranate. I'm just gonna take all these little uh, Aerials out. And I'll use these on my salad and in my salsa. And this is probably the most time consuming part of the whole prep. But I have that ready. Now let's do some parsley. Just gonna take some and rough chop it. go in with the soup. And we have our cilantro, which I'm gonna do a little finer. This is for the salsa. That is probably enough. I'll save the rest for another day. Just cut this up nice and fine. And then we have one thing left, and that's some green beans. So I'm just gonna top and tail them. start on the pulled pork and the soup. There we go. And while I was chopping that, I preheated my foodies. So I'm just gonna add some oil to both. And for the soup, I'm gonna add my leeks. Some of my celery. And my carrots. The parsley I'll put in later. I'll put a little bit of chilies in the soup as well because I like it spicy. And a little bit of peppers as well. Why not? Some garlic. And 
and some of my red onion. And then in the other one, where I'm gonna do my pulled pork, I'm gonna add my yellow onion. Add a bit of salt. And while that is sauteing, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. So for the pulled pork, I'm gonna add my pork. I'm going to add some uh, chicken stock powder. And some water. And then I'm just going to put the pressure lid on, closed, and I'll pressure cook for about an hour. I can slow cook it as well, but I'm just going to make it go a little faster. And then for the soup, I'm going to throw in my parsley. And some canned tomato. Add some water to that. And since I have some uh, vegetable stock powder as well, I'll add a little bit of that. Turn that to slow cook. And put on the glass lid. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you back when this is done. And there we have it. I shredded the pork, so I'm going to use that with the... Uh, I have some keto sauces that I'm going to use. Um, and then I quickly blitzed the soup with my stick blender just to get the biggest chunks out like the parsley and that kind of stuff so that is it we have everything ready to go for the week uh, except for wednesday when we make ravioli but i have my vegetables ready for that as well so if you like this i do this every sunday and on saturday you can find grocery hauls so uh, if you like that check that out as well uh, check out the playlist if you like to just relax with me in the kitchen because all my uh, Sunday prep days are in the playlist uh, that's listed at the end. So please subscribe, leave a like, and thank you for watching. Until next time, bye for now.